For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to edit this, but you can skip ahead to certain parts if you want. Just scroll through um, and see whatever uh, whatever part you want to uh, go ahead and get to. But today, I'm going to talk about the... I don't know what the exact most apt description is, but I'm going to talk about the way that I do live arena. Why did I... What is this? What happened? Apparently, I went into a battle 21 seconds ago, but uh, no, I didn't. Um... What's it called? I'm going to talk about the way that I do Live Arena. The way I abuse Live Arena or the dark way I do this. I don't know what I'm going to call this. But there's a cheap way that I've been doing Live Arena to get easier fights. To basically get the easiest fights. And this is not something new. This isn't something revolutionary. But this isn't something that I've seen uh, talked about or broadcasted. But I'm going to broadcast it here. This isn't exactly cheating. This is not you know, a glitch in the system or anything, but this is a way to utilize the sip, the systems that are implemented by Polarium for Live Arena. In fact, in a lot of PvP mechanics or just areas of the game, this is something that you could possibly do. Maybe it's going to help you. I don't know if this is 100% to be true. This is just what's been working for me. So what do I do? I do what, I, what my clan does in CVC or in Hydra. We purposely lose certain battles, or we purposely drop in ranking in order to get a bunch of easier fights. So as you can see here, uh, every time I go into a fight, I just leave the battle, and this drops my rank. And eventually, I think it's usually after three fights. After three fights, for some reason, I start getting paired up with quote-unquote weaker opponents. This isn't always the case, because oftentimes, I still get guys who are at level 100, or I get guys who are level 77 with a bunch of, with a bunch of, um, uh, hold on, let me think here, with a bunch of mythical champions who just happen to be really cracked out Krakens. So this isn't foolproof, this is not 100% to be true, but this is what I've been doing. More often than not, I get matched with either um, bots or people who just aren't doing too well in Live Arena. And we'll talk more about it along the way. The way that I see it is Polarium purposely pairs you with quote-unquote weaker opponents or bots, which we'll talk about again, just like, I don't know what this guy's doing, but I don't, I don't think it's an actual player, just so that you stay motivated to keep playing, right? They give you, they give you, champ, or they give you um, people to go up against to keep you motivated in playing this game mode, right? Because if all you ever do is play live arena and you constantly lose, you're not going to be motivated to keep going, to keep playing this game mode. And they obviously want people to play this game mode, right? So what do they do? They feed you people who they are like pretty, the system is pretty sure you're going to be able to beat. Or what they do is they get somebody's roster, which I think this is right here, or maybe not because he's taking forever to choose. Uh, what, what they do is they give you a bot, and the bot is basically a copy of somebody else's team. Now, I don't know if this is 100% to be true. This is what I've heard, and this whole mechanic that I'm doing right now where I'm quote-unquote abusing the system is just something that I theorize to be true because it's been working for me because every time I do this, and I've tested this out, I've done, I've been doing this for, for months now, right? I've tested it out where... I do live arena the way you're supposed to, the way the developers intended for you to do, and I always get matched up with people who are better than I am or just have a better gear or better champions or a bunch of mythical champions. And then I've done it where I just purposely drop. If I have live arena tokens and I, I can't do my live arena in time, it takes like a few seconds for me to just go in real quick and and dump arena tokens and leave the leave the match. It doesn't take that long right? And that's what I've been doing. And I've I found that I've been getting easier matchups like this one right here. This is probably going to be a, a relatively easy matchup as well. Barely an inconvenience. Now, the argument is going to be made that Burrito, why don't you just get good? Well, uh, there's going to be so many arguments to that one. I don't care about live arena, right? I don't care about PVP. I don't really give a shit. I just I don't it's I don't care about it. Um, so there's, it, there's nothing deeper to it. If we're being completely honest here, like it, it's just not a game mode that I find fun. I've talked to a lot of Krakens, a lot of people who do compete at the gold four, 
gold three level and and they all agree like it's not it's not really um always going to be a skill issue it's basically just whoever has the bigger wallet now see uh, he could have revived there um the other thing is uh you know you have to know that i'm not the best pvp -er out there at all my channel isn't a pvp panel it's a burrito does whatever the fuck he wants channel and some people like it a lot of people don't like it and that's totally cool but you have to know if you're new here or you don't know or if you've never really seen me do live arena or pvp it's because i don't enjoy it and two i'm not really good at it and that's not really something that I, I want to focus on. It's not really something that I, I thrive off of. I'm not a competitive person to begin with. So I don't find enjoyment or, or I don't gain anything is what I'm talking about here. And because of that, I've never really, really pushed into live arena or PVP to begin with. I've done it so far as to be able to place plat multiple times, several times over, um, a few times just to prove that I could to myself and a few other times just to um, see if I could. Oh, sorry, not to see if I could. Sorry, I got distracted there. Um, just to get the avatar. So I, I got the plat avatar, I got the plat avatar, and I was like, all right, well, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Uh, I've, I've gotten the enjoyment that I, I wanted out of it. I got my avatar, and that's pretty much it. After this, I don't think I'm going to be doing Live Arena anymore just because there's really no point in it for me other than just doing it for Marius. So as you can see, I've dropped pretty far down i've i've gone to uh, i've gotten to a point where they're just pretty much giving me freebies to keep me in in this game mode and um what was the other thought i had some people might say oh you know uh i'm just i'm just going over the list of things that people might say and, and coming up with my not excuses but reasonings behind certain things Right. So some some people might say, oh, you know, well, where's the where's the fun? Where's the value in that? Um, again, I don't find fun or value in doing live arena to begin with, for the most part. Yeah, like, yeah, I get, I get a fight here and there that I'm really into. Like if I'm doing a video like uh, I did a video doing live arena with Marius, that was pretty fun. I was hyped up, but I was like in in the moment for that. Or like I did a video with Pixneal and like I was heavily into that as well, just because, you know, it was a vibe. But for the most part, I just I just don't enjoy it. But some people do. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're the type of person that just really enjoys Live Arena and, and you've got your Georgia at 280 level or speed your speed at 286 with like 7,000, 8,000 attack and 300 crit damage, that's cool. Like, you know, props to you. Everybody's got their own thing. But me, no, nah, I'm cheap. I'm going to abuse the fucking system. If I know there's a way to cheat, I'm going to cheat. And this is what I've been doing. This is how I've been getting easy fights. And so hopefully if you're like me and just want to get the missions done, you just want to get the shit out of the way and you don't really care about what anybody else says, says, then consider doing this. And again, I don't know if this is 100% to be true. This is just me doing this for the past few months and these are the results, right? Now, is this stupid? Maybe. But if it works, is it really stupid? Let's go throw in Pixneal. You know what I mean? So... Take it is take it um for for whatever it is. I'm just choosing the same champions, by the way. Uh, there's no real thought behind my choices other than you know what I'm I'm used to to choosing, and um, I would have banned Tormund personally. Doctor Peacock sixty one. Uh, where's the sense of achievement, uh, Marius? Marius is my sense of achievement and the fun that I get from finally finishing my to do list of things that I need to do um for for the for the missions that that's my that's my my sense of achievement but again if you gain your achievement from you know uh, competing at the highest level then that's cool it's just not really a thing for me i know that i could if i wanted to but then that argument could be made for anybody anybody could compete at the kraken level right if anybody wanted to they really could if you really this is not just me right this is for any of us i'm i'm not i'm not special all humans have it within them to do basically anything anything that they want. If you have enough drive, if you've got desire, you can basically do anything. If, if You know what I mean? Like, just look at all the human figures who have done good and bad throughout history. Whenever someone really wants something, they could. So, you know, I could, quote unquote, perform at the Kraken level, 
if I wanted to and just dump that kind of money. But uh, I, I don't want to. Half of it is I can't because I just don't have that kind of money. But the other part is just like, I don't, I don't really want to. I just want to enjoy the game that the way that I want to enjoy the game, however it is that I want to enjoy the game. And that's basically all this is. Now, I'm still getting relatively easy fights. I'm, I'm seeing champions that I could possibly more than likely clap. I'm not really seeing anything that's out of the realm of impossible for me yet. But we'll see here. Let's ban this guy because he's got a 32 aura. And he's got bombs and I just hate bombers. So do we call him. Damn. I've noticed that a lot of bots, one thing that they do is one they, and you can let me know what, what you think about this. A lot of bots that I run into, more often than not, they choose their champions right away. And another thing that they do is they always ban whoever's in your leader spot. So the first person that you choose is more often not more often than not going to be banned. But let me know what you guys think. Is that does that hold true the same for you? Toshiro. I really want this guy. He reminds me of Dante from Devil May Cry. Damn. All right, so where are we at? Yeah, so we've been. Uh, this is when the video started. We got one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if they're going to keep giving me freebies. And if it ever gets to a point where I, I see people that really don't look easy, like easy pickings, like if, they, if this guy busts out chant, oh, I guess he's doing the same thing that I'm doing. Or he saw the CC thing and didn't want to be part of the video. That's fine too, I guess. I've also run into a bunch of guys who just let the turn meter run out, right? If they see that you're going up against a guy who's like level 100 or has, you know, a certain amount of champs, Umbrella Core, um, I see a lot of people just letting the, the meter run all the way in. And that's annoying to me. And I'm 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 pretty petty. I'll be honest with you guys. Like, I'm, I'm just going to be petty. I'll do the same thing to you. Except I'll bring in my... My not my nuke Wukong. I'll bring in my support Wukong. Where is he? I'll bring support Wukong in. I'll bring Duchess Pytheon. I'll bring in uh, UDK. <laughs> like I'm bringing in basically everybody who is going to make the fight last a lot longer. And I'm gonna keep you here, and I'm going to keep sheeping you. And you know, that's that's what I what I would do. So here's here's the part where I'm going to start just talking uh, randomly. Uh, no real um, thought here, but let's go ahead and bring more to because he brought these two AoEs. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Warlord because he's in stone skin and he goes relatively fast. And we'll see who he chooses. Whenever somebody starts out with Hegemon and oh God, what's it? Hefrak? I usually bring in more to Macabre. So he's got Sigfrind. I'm going to bring in you, and we'll bring in Sun Wukong as well, just because I think Sun Wukong is the absolute goat. Oh, damn it. I should bring in Pixneo. All right, so who do we ban here? Well, I'm going to ban Siegfried. Actually, maybe Ethos would have been a good choice to, to ban, and that's because he's got a, I think it's a triple hitter, right? So my Rodos is kind of in trouble here. Now, we might get lucky. And we might be able to take a turn. In fact, if Hegemon uses his lockout ability and he hits my Rotos hard enough, Rotos can take a turn. And I think I might be good there. All right, so we counterattacked, but we didn't get anything. Let's go ahead and put everybody's skills on cooldown. Now, I don't want to hit him. Let's hit Ethos and we'll stun. And I want to be careful not to kill anybody, but I have decreased attack on Rotos. Maybe we won't have to kill anybody. Let's place the block buffs, do a little bit of healing. Let's hit him again. Uh-oh, that's not a good thing. Well, actually, that's okay. We want Sun Wukong to end up coming back. Maybe he hits hard enough. And Rotos takes an extra turn. We don't have to worry about Hefrax passive now. In fact, because his skills are on cooldown, we're pretty much Gucci. Now, I don't know what he's doing, but it seems like he's taking up his time. He's taking time here. So for me, 
what I do is if I see somebody doing that, letting the entire meter run, I let them do it once. If they do it a second time, that's obviously on purpose and I don't let them slide. So we'll see if he does it again. Okay, so, cause you know, sometimes like I'm busy, right? Sometimes I'm I'm doing something and I forget that Live Arena is going on and I let the meter run and then I come back and I'm like, oh shoot, like I my, my bad. Like I, I forgot I was uh, doing Live Arena. That was a nice try. Nice try. Yeah, still still not um getting the hard hard battles yet. What where are we at? We are 14 out of 40. Let's I hate how you can't just click and automatically go back. So let's keep going. We're going to go as far as we can uh trying to get to 40. So hopefully we keep getting these nice easy battles. If not, I'm going to start showing you guys um the process of me basically going in and just leaving. But it's it's looking like it's starting to get a little bit more so difficult. What are these guys without names? Four seven six nine seven whatever his name is. That's it. Oh nine three nine four. Armands and I basically choose the same people for the most part. Let's get in uh, Morty Macab. I just really hate bomb champions. Bomb champions will mess me up. And there they are. There's the bomb champions right there. So this is what we're doing here. This is what we're doing. We're bringing you. We're gonna bring in Yumiko, and we're gonna hope everything's okay. The real question is, who do we who do we ban here? Like, do we get rid of Gaius, or you know, who do we get rid of? I think we're gonna get rid of of this guy. He's got a higher blessing. And let's go ahead and take our Mons. And maybe we get lucky. But bomb bomb teams are supremely difficult to deal with. For me, at least. I, I don't have a good counter for bomb teams, uh, honestly. Now, I could um, redirect, or I could put their skills on cooldown. And I think I'm just going to put their skills on cooldown. And then we're going to Armand's this. We got lucky. I'll admit, we're gonna, we, we got lucky here. And because we got lucky, we're probably going to win this. This is probably going to be pretty much a game set and match for him. And there it is. But yeah, if if he had been any faster, if he were if he were able to outspeed my my Yumiko, I would have been in trouble there. But anyway, other than Live Arena, how are you guys doing? I don't know if People are still here. I'm assuming some of you guys are still here because I've had some really dedicated um, community members even watching the entire hour videos that I've put out before. And I got to say, I appreciate you guys for, for being willing to sit there and at least let me uh, sit in the background with you. That's pretty awesome that you guys um, do that. So thank you. But how are you guys? How are you? How's your weekend? Or not weekend? Sorry, my my work schedule is kind of weird, right? I don't work Wednesdays, and I had an early day today. Oh shit! He's got uh, and Cora and Narcis. All right, so let's take this a little bit seriously here, because I do not like this combo. This combo is very difficult for me to deal with. I don't actually. Do you guys have a good good counter for this? And Cora and Narcis, who's your counter to this? Because I don't have a good counter to this. I don't know who I'm going to bring in now. Like, I, I guess the argument could be made like, hey, let's take care of King Narcis, but then Ancora is pretty annoying in and of, in um, she's annoying herself as well. I could bring another support. Oh, he's got Georgian also. I think we need to bring in Arbiter or maybe even Cardiel. I think that might be the the move here um shit i don't know uh fuck okay let's bring in let's jesus christ i don't i don't even know who to uh like i feel like i need to ban armands but i also can't let king narcis stay so i'm kind of at a loss here uh, hopefully i i get lucky enough hopefully i get lucky if not we're going to start purposely losing fights here just to to head back down but see this is what i mean right i i get paired with cha or not champions characters who are at a lower level than i am but that doesn't always necessarily yeah it's game over
But that, like, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're easier fights. I should have banned Armand's. What? Fuck, dude. What are you doing? Are you thinking? Game set and match, I think. Because once Georgia takes a turn, it's... Oh, he's... Georgia did not kill me. That's weird. Usually Georgia would kill... Oh, well, he, he doesn't have increased attack, but even still. Damn, double sheep, bruh. Well, I don't want to leave just yet. Like, I'm inclined to leave, but at the same time, I, I want to see this through. He's going to do his A2 again, isn't he? If he does his A2, I'm just leaving. I'm just fucking leaving, yeah, because this is about to be an Armand show. Well, and that's why I choose Armand's first. All right, so let's go ahead and start losing the next three fights. Let's lose the next... Well, we lost that one. Let's do... Because it's usually about three fights. Every time I lose three fights is when they start feeding me easier champions. So let's leave Caballeros Silencios. The Silent Cowboys. Um, tengo tengo un, una pregunta para la gente. El gente quien puede hablar en español. Um, ¿Puedes entenderme? Porque estoy aprendiendo o tratando que uh, aprender español. Otra vez? <laughs> so, um, si me entiendes, dímelo porque quiero saber si hay otras personas quien quieren verme en español. No estoy seguro si, um, si puedo um, explicar todas las cosas, uh, los co las cosas en, en español en Draid, pero, um, Quiero tatar, pero no sé. But yeah, um, I was basically asking if, if anybody here speaks Spanish and if they would like to see me do videos in Spanish. All right, so that was the second loss, uh, technically the third loss in a row. And so now, usually when I see this right here, this is when I can kind of tell that, hey, um, Raid is trying to pair me with somebody who's weaker. Again, this is not always the case. I don't know this to be 100%, but this is what I've seen. If this goes to the entire minute, which it's going to right here, the way that I understand it is Raid is trying to place me, but they keep play or I kept I kept getting placed with people who I would lose to, so now they're trying to pair me with somebody who is weaker and and we'll see that here. If uh, this guy, depending on who this guy chooses, let's hope he doesn't choose our mons. All right, so he's going that and that. Let's um, let's, let's bring in UDK. I think UDK and Rodos are always a good combo. And I actually don't remember if my Ronda's built. I want to bring in Ronda. She's a good counter to Sun Wukong. Oof, oof. She knows. She knows. We're we're gonna bring in Makaga here. And then we're going to bring in Tormund. Try to ban that Siffy. All right, so this guy doesn't look like he's easy, but I think it's a challenge, and I'm going to take it. I'm going to take this challenge. If you could call this a challenge. I'm not sure if you would call this a challenge or not. I took the accuracy increase because uh, I want a decent chance of Tormund's, what do you call it, um, Breeze popping off because he doesn't really, he's not really built for accuracy right now. He's not a support Tormund. He's not trying to freeze people. He's basically a damage um, Tormund. He's in, in a, uh, he's in a savage set. So we'll see here. Okay, so his Arbiter is faster. Foley. What are you going to do? A2. Okay. So we kill him. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Siffy. And we're going to swipe away at um, Arbiter here. Dude, what was I saying? A lot of... I, be, I bet some of you guys are like, Burrito, that's not a challenge. You guys have to understand where I'm coming from. Like, you're talking to a guy who doesn't really do Live Arena. You're talking about a guy who's not competitive and by any means really like i just it's just not really my thing so 
your perspective, especially if you're in like G3 or G4, is different than my perspective. In the same sense that if I was talking to somebody who's like level 60 or level 40 or starting out in raid, my perspective would be different than theirs. So, you know, if you're performing at that higher level, congratulations, you know, go ahead and, and grab a burrito and enjoy it. You know, here's a cookie on me. But I feel like I fought this guy before. But yeah, my perspective is different. My experiences are different. What looks intimidating to me may not be intimidating to you, but like, just understand that everybody has a different point of view and you know, my point of view is this. So if you see me impressed by a Siffy, one, it's because I don't have Siffy, and two, it's because of um, XYZ reasons. You know what's actually really fun? You know what's really fun? Ally attack champions in Tormund. So usually what I do is I bring in for the, oh wow. Okay, never mind. We're not doing that because we have Mikage. We have Mikage. What I like to do, and maybe we'll try it next time, but what I like to do is bring in triple ally attack and then Tormin. I think people who see that kind of combination think, oh, there's no damage, but a lot of people don't realize that my Cardiel is built for damage and my Tormin is built for damage. So he's got a bunch of... Um, Let's actually, let's see, we got, um, let's bring, I feel like I don't use Taurus enough anymore. I think what happened was because Taurus is, oh, smart. Because Taurus is, um, Taurus has fallen. I'm going to be a hundred with you guys. In the words of Tavish, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. He's fallen off. He's not what he was before. Let's get rid of Makage. I should get rid of Fenex, and I just realized I should have. I don't know why I thought I had Tormund with me. It's it's because I'm used to people people banning uh, Wukong over Tormund. Uh, that's uh, his bad. His Fenex doesn't smack hard enough. We'll throw it on auto. Uh, what was I saying, dear God? What was I guys? What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. A river Derchi. <laughs> Hey, have you guys seen Inglorious Bastards? I think it came out in like 2013. Inglorious Bastards is probably one of my all-time favorite movies. In fact, a lot of Quentin Tarantino movies. By the way, if you're still with me and you like Quentin Tarantino movies, let me know you like Quentin Tarantino movies. I think the last one he came out with was um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I don't know if you guys saw it. I thought it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Let's try to bring in our, our triple ally attack and Tormund combo in. A river dare cheat. Um, but it's this, it, if you haven't seen it, it's this vid, it's this movie about this group. Well, there's a lot of things going on, right? And part of the reason why I love it is because there's multiple stories going on and they have multiple languages in the film. So like you have, you hear, you hear Spanish or actually you don't hear Spanish. You hear French, you hear German, you hear English and a little bit of Italian, Italian, Italian. Um, and I just think it's a riveting story. I think it's enticing. I think I think it's well written, well told, well executed. It's got Brad Pitt in it. It's got Magneto in it. God, I feel like I should know his name because I I adore him as an actor. But uh, really good movie. If you haven't seen it, let me know if you you're still here and, and you've seen it. But yeah, uh, Inglorious Bastards, great film. And in the video or in the movie, I keep saying video. In the movie, who are we banning? We're gonna get rid of. Let's get rid of Hefrak, actually. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We're getting rid of Armands. I have to get rid of Armands. It's just a thing. I just got to get rid of him. We're going to take the extra accuracy. In the movie, Brad Pitt is like... Because um, they're trying to like infiltrate, and they're trying to find you know, people who would pass for Italians. And so Brad Pitt goes, uh, I speak the first most Italian... Uh, he speaks the second most Italian. And so um, they finally go to the, to the, let's do this. They finally go to wherever it is that they need to go to. And, um, well, let me try to remove their buffs. 50-50. Uh, 50-50. Let's do, 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 Let's do this. We'll speed up. We'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, oh, all right, perfect. 
It worked out. It worked out. Um, pushback turn meter. And so he ends up talking to the guy who they're trying to get to infiltrate and get rid of. And uh, he goes, a rare Verderci. It took me like th- three minutes to get to this point. But the point that I'm trying to get to is um, he says a rare Verderci. And that's that's why I was I was reminded of that just now. All right. So now we're I think we're pretty solid here. My my only thing was like at the beginning of this fight, I was like, okay, how how am I gonna deal with this? Because if Hefrak takes a turn, if he's built strongly enough, then he's gonna wipe my entire team with just his passive. But my my plan here was to place the revive on death in the event that he does. So he took his turn, and he still smacked me, and that was with his increased attack and his increased crit damage up, and I was able to uh, come back. From that and you know that there's there's value in having that revive on death which you know for me personally i i don't think revive on death always has um great uses i feel like on paper it's really good but in practice i've found that it fails me more than i would like it to but there are certain instances where i'm just like oh, okay this one niche moment this might actually work out and that was actually one of the times that it worked out so we are still dealing with people who are relatively easy. And we're still going strong. So let's go ahead and bring in Wukong and Mikage. Is there anybody else that I would like to try out? Since I pretty much pick the same people every single time. We're going to bring in Warlord. Let's go ahead and bring in Rodos. And then we'll... We'll take... I keep forgetting I have Pixneal built in a Savage set now. Let's go ahead and take Wukong. Now, the issue here is if I get fucked, which I might, I get fucked by the bomb team, that's going to be an issue. But also, I can't let Armand's stay, because if Armand stays, then we have an issue on our hands. But this, this right here is going to be a speed battle. Whoever goes first is going to win. If he goes first, which I honestly think he might, then we're done. Yeah. So his Lady Kim is going to go first. One thing that might save me is if he hits me and I get an extra turn here, which I don't. Maybe if Sun Wukong comes back. Oh, but then Ronda is going to take care of Sun Wukong. Yeah, no. And this is why I hate bomb teams. This is why I hate bomb teams, guys. So, you know, well, we're going to lose here and there it's not perfect i've got skill issues but i i don't know how would you have dealt with that with my roster with, in my same exact situation how would you have dealt with that because do you let armand stay or do you try to get rid of nishak you know i mean i was kind of in a rock and a hard place i guess one thing i could do i could have brought in um yumiko because yumiko is faster than faster than warlord I should have done that. We're gonna take we're gonna take losses here. We're gonna take the next two losses here. So as you see, when you run out of live arena tokens, you begin to have to pay for gems. So this is one of the things that, and I think I'm gonna do a too long didn't watch video at the bottom in the comments. This is one of the things. Oh, this actually looks. We got a 69er here. Maybe I do take this fight. Like I said, every two or three fights is when I. Uh, start to get certain easier matches or relatively appears to be easier matches we're gonna do wukong and yumiko we're gonna do makage and probably brodos hefrak everybody's got a hefrak today it goes up so it goes up basically the um Ooh, smart, smart, smart. Okay. The um the price of live arena tokens goes up after X amount of time. So it's gonna start off at 10, then 20, and then I think it bumps up to 40. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. How did he go first? Is he does he just have like a really fast? Let's get rid of you. Oh shit, I forgot about a half rack already. Uh-oh, we're in trouble here. Well, what did I say, guys? What did I say? 
I got distracted. I forgot about Hefrak. I took that L. That was on me. I should have paid attention. What I should have done was probably uh, switched over with Makage and hit the A2 and stunned and then aimed down on Hefrak. But what can you do? You know, when you're, you're a guy like me who um, is kind of a scrub when it comes to these things, you know, what can you do? You take your losses. You make mistakes. We all make mistakes. I guarantee you, if you do live arena, I guarantee you, you've made a mistake here or there too, whether it's a mistake in you know making a a champion choice or it was a mistake in the game I, I guarantee you there is absolutely no way you haven't made a single mistake in live arena and if you tell me anything else you're a fucking lying sack of shit because we've all made mistakes we're human right and that's my excuse i made a mistake now everybody makes a mistake so it's normal no it's just normal because i make mistakes i make mistakes all the time which is why i tell you guys anybody who watches me Again, I tell you, do not always listen to me. Oftentimes, I'm wrong. I make a lot of mistakes. I defer to a lot of other people. A lot of other content creators, I defer to them. A lot of people who have bigger, better minds than I do, I defer to them. So we'll see. We'll see if um, we win this one here. We're going to test this out. We'll see what champions he picks. And if he starts picking really hard champions, I'm just going to leave. We'll give him uh, up until this point over here, and we'll see who he picks. Who are you going to pick? Who you pick determines if I stay or not. Let's do this. I should wait for the very last second to pick Tormund, but I'm kind of traumatized because I've I've seen pick I've seen people pick Arbiter and then Tormund, and then I'm like, well, shit, there goes my plan. That doesn't look too bad. What do you guys think? Does that look bad to you? It doesn't look that bad. I think we can go fast enough. Let's ban Arbiter. We go fast. We go first. Oh, who does... I know her name is Senna. I don't know what Senna does. Let's see. This isn't a damage Wukong. It might be a hybrid, but it's in Sheep. So it's not a new Wukong. Yeah, so we go first. Let's get rid of you so that you don't freeze. What does Senna do? Okay, places continuous heals, heals and increase speed. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. You know, surprisingly, Armand's actually hits kind of hard. Is it just me or does Armand's hit hard? Because my Armand's hits pretty hard sometimes. He's not built for damage, but when sometimes I see him hit and I'm like, oh, you know what? He actually does quite a bit of damage. Like, he did 32k there. Not the most impressive damage, but also it's not nothing. A River Darity. Did I lose to this guy before? I feel like I lose, I love, I've lost to this guy before. I got to check my, my log. I'm pretty sure I... Because we talked about Inglorious Bastards. So it's likely that I've lost to him. Uh, let's, let's just bring, bring in, um, Arbiter and Tormund, just to be safe. I think he was the bomb guy, right? Was he a, he, he was a bomb dude? Dude, pick your champions already, bro. Why are you taking forever to choose? Okay, so he's got Harima. Now that's an issue. But we have you, and we've got Cardio. A lot of my damage dealers are actually not good against Harima. So this might be an issue. But we're going to hope Wukong stays. Tormund will do a little bit of damage to him as well. We might bring in... Rhonda, actually. I have to check to see if Rhonda's built. I have Taurus. What am I doing? We'll, we'll bring in Taurus. Yeah, we're going to bring Taurus in. And I think we're going to be okay. He might ban Taurus, though, so that might be an issue. Oh, he did not ban Taurus. Okay. Well, here's the plan. We get rid of Hefrak first. 
This might take a while because UDK is there. We got to wait for his stone skin to fall off. But if we're lucky, we're going to win this fight. So let's boost attack. Let's go ahead and just aim down on Hefrak. Hefi. And let's... You know what? Fuck it. Boom. We'll just take it. Whatever it is. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just we'll we'll be okay with it. We're just gonna do it. What should I have done? I I should have placed revive on death. That's what I should have done. But you know what? We're okay. Because Taurus. I I forgot who I have. I have Taurus with me. What are we doing here? I've got Taurus. We're okay. Now we're gonna a one. We're basically waiting for UDK UDK's um thing to fall off. I was like, what am I? Ki I got, I got Taurus with me. What, what am I tripping about, dude? I've got nothing to worry about. I have Taurus. And I've got Tormund. Combo can't be beat. Kidding me? I was all stressed. Okay, so 20 is the next one. Where are we at? We're at 20. So we're halfway there, living on a prayer. And we've got about an hour left. So we've, we've really got to keep going. We've got to keep pushing. I'm spending way too long on these fights. Messing around way too much. And I have to, okay, let me, Hydra's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. All right, so let's, of course, bring in our Mons, start picking the same guys, Sun Wukong, and um, Yumiko here. Shu Zen, awesome champion. Rodos Tormund. Gotta get some whiskey, so I'm, I'm waiting. Hurry up, dude. Taking way too long here. Marishka. So, so far, only one damage dealer, but we could get locked out if Shu Zen keeps taking turns, and that could be annoying. But then again, we might just have a really good chance of winning if I'm able to supercharge rotos and block revives but then it's just going to be a long fight so we'll see here i'm going to get rid of ronda i'm going to get rid of ronda here and we're going to take sun wukong got rid of ronda because if shuzen goes super fast she takes that instant turn and then i'm just screwed at least if ragash goes I might have a decent chance. He's going to hit his A2. I would too. We're going to put their skills on cooldown. A1. And someone's one of them is going to join in. There you go. Okay. Not looking good here. I'll be honest with you guys. Not looking good on my end here. Let's try to take these. Counterattack? Already? He's got that counterattack gear on. Boom. Okay. Let's hit you. Nice, nice, nice. What I need to do is get Rotos shit. Yeah, we're not we're not looking too hot here. I need those extra turns from Rotos. Need those extra turns. Does she get that A2 in? Oh, I would too. Can't even be mad about that. Uh oh, not looking good, guys. Well, shit. All right, let's lose like the next two battles. Two or three battles. The next two battles, we're gonna just leave because now it's getting way too difficult and taking up way too much time for me to do these battles. So we're purposely gonna drop. And again, this is just the way I abuse the system. This is what I do. And they're finding me people pretty quickly here. So they had people lined up and we're not dealing with that. We're purposely dropping. And we'll see who this guy, next guy is. 
Notice how I don't have a lot of gems left. So we might not even be able to finish 40 this time. So if you're, I guess if you, um, if you pop properly plan for this, what you could do is take the five that you get from live arena prior, like immediately prior to reset, and then go into the next day. You get live arena tokens that you saved from prior reset. Then you get the post reset ones plus the five that you get from the start of reset. So that's three packs there. You could spend the gems to get some tokens here and there, but I mean, it gets to a point where it's, I think it's like a hundred um, per refill and that gets expensive over the long run. The only reason I'm doing it is for, for content and because I, I really want to bang these Mary's missions out of the way. And then of course, if you are doing Centranos, there are some live arena tokens there as well. My cat's staring at me. Seems like it's having a little bit of issue. All right, so man on toilet. Very average gamers, but he's got almost 4,000 um, what a ranking, whatever you call it. But if I hadn't been dropping, I'd be in gold three uh, right about now, and that's not where I want to be. That's like not a really good, it's really not a good place for me to be because I'm just, I'm not there. Like I'm, it takes a lot to stay up there, to compete up there, because everybody up there is just insane. Like insane accounts, insane gear. And I'm not him. I'm just not him. Let's get rid of Pytheon. Let's take... We'll take Sun Wukong with us. Although I, I think I wanted to put... Actually, I think I should have put Mikage in the lead just to get that little bit of extra accuracy. Eh, this works too, I guess. What does this guy... What does Bone Saw do? I guess we won't find out unless his A1 is just bonkers. Which I guess we won't find out. But these are the fights that I like to see. These are the easy fights that make it worth it for me to do the cheap way. Come on. Buy me something. In fact, uh, okay, never mind. Uh, Walker Daniel. I don't know, level 100. We'll see who he picks. You know what? No, I'm not feeling it. Let's, let's leave. Let's leave. We're going to leave this battle. We're going to take that loss. Now it's up to 35, so it's 10, 20, then 35. This is probably not the best way to do it, not the most efficient way to do it, but if you're really trying to bang it out, then, you know, consider doing this. I don't know. All right. Took that loss again. I wonder if these guys ever are like, hey, I'm I'm in, I'm gonna be in the next video. I don't even think people really know who I am. I think they just see this and they're like, oh, this guy's a CC because he's got the cardio avatar, which sometimes I don't like wearing. Sometimes I just like I, I like wearing the regular thing, um, because sometimes I'm in game chat in channel two, and people are like, oh, you're the guy from YouTube, and I'm like, yeah. But sometimes I'm just not feeling it. Like, I, I don't want people to know. I, I guess it's just like I don't want to talk about it sometimes. You know, I'm just not in the mood. Not that I'm, like, ungrateful or, or trying to be disrespectful, but you know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's a jaded thing to say. I'll be back. I'm going to get some whiskey. I'm done with my whiskey so far. Poured myself a little bit of uh, JMO. Got some Jameson going on. Yeah, I don't have a lot of gems, so I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get. And then there's the time limit, so that's another thing that I'm kind of like, well, we'll see. I'm going to try. If I am able to knock this out in one video, that would be like worth it to me personally. 
All right, so again, we're being given the easier fights, so I'm just going to go full out damage. Um, let me step here. Right there, and we'll just go Tormund. I guess the tankiest person here would probably be Necrit. He's kind of hard to deal with. But then Chris puts the debuffs passively, so I might just want to get rid of him too. Oh, I mean, I have Cardiel, so we'll see. Might have to just get rid of Necrit. But this is not a bad early, or I guess mid-game? Mid-game uh, team here. Let's get rid of Blind Seer. That's their Reviver. And probably going fast, too. I don't imagine these guys are going fast, except for maybe Seri. All right. Let's see, we've got, what, like an hour and ten minutes left? Something like that? Oh, we got Stone Skin, Madame Sally. And let's get rid of Krisk. Take these. Okay, we're taking nothing. We're taking nothing with us. Take these. Strange how we're still here, but Stone Skin really saved them. Nice. It's gonna hit Sun Wukong. Does he got the block? He has the block revive, right, on his A1? Very nice. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, I think um, Fenax is actually one of the champions that I've always said I wanted to build, but really haven't gone out of my way for. All right, next fight. Come on. Two tokens left. We'll see if we can get a few more easy fights before having to before having to drop down again. Koala T Kush. What's Kush? I've never heard of it. All right, so we busted out our mons. Gonna have to ban him. Then he brought in Harima. And that's an issue. But we're gonna bring in Taurus. And because we have Makage, we get that increase to crit damage. Get rid of you. And we'll take this with us. Hopefully we can outlive some of this damage here. Because there's a lot of damage going on. But let's actually transform. We're going to transform and hit the A2. We're going to stun. We're going to stun here. Let him, let him stun. Sheep? No, not no sheeping. A2? Stun? No stun. What about hitting the provoke? Can we hit the provoke? No, no, no. Let's get rid of you. Makage's A1 is just sick. And nice, we got the double. We got the double whammy with the freeze here. I'd leave two. I'd leave two. But hey, you know, that's how the luck rolls sometimes. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Oh, that's what I was saying. Yeah, how? <laughs> Freaking uh, 20, 30 minutes later. How are you guys doing? How's your week so far? JD Tez, 82. Welcome to the video. Um, but my week's going pretty good. Um, Tuesday was a early day for me. And... Friday, I'm going to have an early day as well, so I'm going to get home. I'm working on my other channel right now, trying to finish Black Myth Wukong. Really fun action RPG game. We're going to have to go um, Rodos and... Yeah, we'll bring in Torment as well. Probably going to have to ban Siffy. But yeah, um, and bring somebody fast, like Cardiel probably, or Makage. Yeah, and then I, we have Friday off, or sorry, not Friday off, we have, uh, we get off early Friday, so obviously Saturday, Sunday, Monday's off because of Labor Day, whoosh, shit, dude, freaking Valcannon.
I, I think I might just want to ban Valken and Yeah. Uh shit. This is this seems like a toughie here, but Sippy. Let's just stick to the plan. We'll we'll get rid of Sippy. Yeah, see what I mean? Like you you come up against level 79 lower level uh, account levels and they've got like champions up the ass. And it's kind of like, well, <laughs> you know what I mean? So there's that that you you um consider having to deal with but let's try to take the extra speed maybe we get lucky oftentimes i find that lower level accounts have the champions but they don't always have the gear so maybe i might be fast enough and it looks like we are so let's get rid of you and we'll get rid of val cannon yeah um but yeah how's your guys week so far monday's off we're taking tuesday off and of course we have wednesday's off as well i fought this guy before he's the bomb champion right Oh, I'm I'm picking I'm picking Arbiter first. Oh, he's picking Arbiter first. Okay, we're gonna do this and we're gonna pick Arbiter. I remember you. And then we're gonna have to choose probably Taurus. Yeah, because Taurus is just the goat. So basically after tomorrow starting tomorrow afternoon gonna take a break from work and focus just mainly on content creation so uh, i'll be doing my usual raid content and then i'll i'll bust out my my stuff on my other channel as well um, which by the way if you're interested in seeing me in other contexts other than raid i have two other channels one where I do psychological deep dives into characters and horror games mostly, but, you know, other games in general. And then I have my horror gaming channel, which I, uh, well, I do horror games. So let's actually stun. Let's put the stun out on people. Seems like a good move here. So if you're interested in that, links are down in the description below. Hope to see you there. But of course, if it's just not your, if that's not your thing, don't, don't, uh, don't force yourself. It's just kind of up to you. If you want to... You know, be there and uh, enjoy that kind of shit. But if not, that's totally fine. I understand. Just letting you guys know what's there. We're going to leave here because I know this clan. And I'm not trying to deal with it. Take this. Take another drink. Oh, by the way... At 3,000 subs, if you're still here an hour later, when I get to 3,000 subs, I'm going to be buying a random person a Slayer set Forge Pass. So, just so you guys know, I'll obviously repeat it in different videos because I don't. I think the majority of you guys aren't going to make it this far. I don't know um, a lot of people who sit here and, and watch all the way through. Like, ideally, I would like it if you guys did. That would be sick, but the reality is probably not. But if you are here, just know that if you are new to the channel, I'm doing a giveaway at five at 3,000 subs. So I'm not telling you to sub. I'm not telling you to like the video or anything. I'm just saying that, hey, when I reach this milestone, this is going to be a thing. So, you know. Getting rid of Makage because... Makage can CC pretty badly, and that is something we don't want to deal with. I would have taken the increase to accuracy for Tormund's Freeze, but Duchess is there. And Hefrak is probably going to be in Stone Skin, so I need to be making moves, and I gotta make them fast. Hopefully we get the Freeze off, and it looks like we do. Let's go ahead and put their skills on cooldown. And we miss. Or we didn't miss, but we didn't get the... Um, what do you call it? I was trying to get rid of his uh, stone skin here. Let's just do it. Let's just do this. Yeah. I mean, Yumiko already did her job by killing or placing the skills on cooldown. So, you know, I took a chance there. All right, dude. Take your turn. Take Take your turn already. What are you doing?
Boom. Take your turn. Come on. I think he's got two turns before he can revive. So we're good there. Where are we now? We got an hour left. 14 battles left. We got 14 battles. Can we bang up 14 battles? We have 346 gems left. Let's see if we can do it. If we can get some, some good 14 fights in and complete this mission, bro, I'll be happy. I'm going to say this video is worth it. Unique free-to-play. I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. This name before. Of course, we're picking our mons. I keep forgetting I have Pixneal and Savage. Let's take another drink to that. I'm feeling Cardiel this fight. Actually, let's bring Cardiel and Mikage in. And we'll throw in Pixneal this time. He's not going to expect Pixneal. Nobody ever expects Pixneal. All right, dude. Pick your champions already. Freaking taking forever. Or maybe he's doing content also. And he's recording. And he's trying to get his thoughts out. And he can't multitask. Can you guys... Can you men... Men. Specifically men. I know there are some girls that watch. that Some females that watch. that Women that watch. But men specifically. Can you multitask? Because me, I can't. But my wife and my grandma and my mom swears by it that they can. And I, what do you call it? I, um, we're bringing Pixneal in. I was in a psych class back in college, back in university. And in my psychology class, I was taking bio psych and they were like, yeah, females actually have one, a better, not better, but like more maturely developed brain than men do and let's see we're going to go ahead and get rid of Pod i feel like getting rid of podrick to be honest i feel like we got to get rid of podrick um but yeah they have better developed not oh, sorry not better developed they have more mature brains like their brains mature at a faster rate than men do so like i guess Men have their brain fully developed at 25, while women have theirs developed at, like, I forgot what it was, like, 18, 23. And then, um, we're gonna get rid of Fenex here. Get rid of Jing Wong. I think he hits hard. I don't really actually know. I don't know. And men don't develop that, that quickly. And then women almost are, women also have better balance than men. Like their brains are more hardwired to have better balance than males. And that is also, oh, the other thing that I remember from that biopsych class, they said, the professor said that women just have a better, not, not every single man and every single woman, we're going to leave here. But most women, on average, just have a larger mental bandwidth and capacity than men do. Meaning they can divide their attention a lot better than, than men can. That's also why you just see or hear about women who are able to multitask. And they can do those kinds of things. And so the professor was talking about that and... They were like, yeah, that's why, um, you know, no, they were saying like one of the reasons why that possibly might be a thing was because women innately are the ones to take care of babies, the babies, the offspring. And because of that, they just developed, they evolved that way in order to, I guess, meet that need. They adapted to that need of having to um, lose my train of thought here. Of having to multitask, basically. So yeah, just a random, random ramblings at this point. Doing live arena. Jack Hoof. What are we doing here? Might have to do Mikage. Who should we choose? I'm thinking... Right, because I'm saying Yumiko, probably. And we just get rid of our Mons. 
Hopefully we go fast enough. We take care of Siffy, then Harima. But we actually might run into an issue here because Kaimar's here. And if they just take two turns, our team is wiped. I don't blame him for this, for taking forever to decide, because this is not easy to pick. But yeah, I probably would have ended up choosing Yumiko as well. So we'll we'll see. This this one's kind of a toss up. I don't really know. Maybe my I'm able to outspeed. I don't outspeed. Yumiko is in protection. She's not going that fast. I think she's like at three something, but not nothing fast. So the issue here is if I let Kaimar live, I sleep. But if I let him leave uh, live, then he stuns. But let's get rid of Kaimar. Actually, I probably should have gotten rid of Ragash. In fact, I might be... Actually, yeah, no, I might be able to get rid of Gosh here. Yes. Okay, cool. Now, she's going to bring somebody back. Brings you back because of your stun ability. But what we're going to do here is we're going to hit this. And now we just have to worry about Harima. Which, she is a threat in of her in it of herself. But we have Rodos. But, of course, she's going to survive through that. She's probably going to hit her A2, get rid of Rodos, get rid of everybody. And if we are able to survive this, for an example, transform, maybe push turn meter back, stun, and then we can do this. Maybe we hit hard enough. Can we push turn meter back with this? I don't know. We're able to push a little bit of turn meter back, but that's not enough. She's going to hit the A3 and we lose. That's Harima, dude. That's Harima. Can you even be mad at me for that? You can't, because Harima's doing Harima things. That was a well-fought match. That was a close one. That was a close one. Now we just gotta wait for the next fight. That was a good one, though. But this is why I'm saying, like, not everybody who is at a lower level than you... The, here's the thing, guys. Power level, account levels don't really matter too much. They really don't. For reasons explained and displayed in this video here, right? Because you can go up against the level 86 and they've got mythicals up the ass, right? Or if they're Krakens, they just buy gear. And more often than not, if you're buying gear, you're also getting ores, you just have a better chance of getting the gear that you want, the better gear, right? That's just the way that it is. Or you have the energy to farm during a 3x. Mythical, see what I mean? 86 with a mythical. Power level doesn't mean too much, right? Because you could have a higher power level or a arena team power level and you could still get your cheeks clapped, right? Because power level is just indicative of gear for the most part. Now, normally, you're able to discern whether or not somebody is... Let's see here. Let's get rid of the mythical. You're able to discern whether or not somebody is, or somebody has good gear or not based on their account level, right? Because what we normally see here, what we normally see is people who have all the champs, but they're, they're at a lower level, oftentimes they don't have the gear, right? We're going to get rid of Knight Aaron. He smacks really hard. We're going to um, put their skills on cooldown. And that's that's normally what we see with lower levels, right? So I'd say like nine times out of 10, I go up against somebody who's at a lower level. I can assume, make an educated guess based on experience that their gear is not going to be up to par, right? I can assume that they've got champs, but you know, they just don't have the gear for it. And maybe that helps me win. Remember, I don't care how I win as long as I finish the mission. Other people's respect really doesn't mean that much to me, right? Because I'm the type of guy who only cares about self-respect. The only opinions I care about are my own opinion about myself, the choices I make, and my wife's opinions. That's pretty much it. It would be nice, it's my preference, to be on the same side as a lot of you, right? 
It's my preference to coincide, to have the same mental um, proclivities as a good majority of you, right? Because I, I want to connect with you guys. This is the, half of the reason why I do YouTube is because I, I, I genuinely enjoy talking to you guys. A lot of you guys who comment on my same videos, like it, 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 it's interesting, but I, I like being able to, to talk with people. Because here's the thing, guys. I'm not the type of guy, like I'm, I'm old now, right? I'm old. I don't really care about going outside and, and making new friends, but I feel like the internet is a great way to meet that little need that I have. It's not really a need, but I think it's more of like an, an innate thing inside of me because I'm human where it's just like, I enjoy, I derive um, entertainment from being able to talk to some of you guys, to, to a lot of you guys. Right, because I'll be fine just playing video games and and you know hanging out with my wife and my brothers and my cats and you know the the one or two friends that I have. Uh, I don't like I don't like a big circle of friends, but it's cool when I can talk to you guys about something that I love. That's the other thing, right? Because here's the thing, my my brothers don't play raid. My wife plays raid, but she takes like several months of breaks in between, so she's not always there. But like. Being able to talk about a game that I'm really passionate about with you guys is huge. It's a huge thing for me um, because it's it's just it's just fun, All right? We're gonna bring in cardio actually, and we're gonna get rid of their only damage dealer, which is Rathalos. And I'm I'm a little little tipsy right now because I've been drinking whiskey. I think I'm on my sixth sixth glass already, but. Um, yeah, like I, I think it's really cool to be able to enjoy a game and to be able to play it with a community. And that's, that's part of the reason why, like, I still do raid content, why I still love, um, raid shadow legends. Cause without, without this, I don't think I'd be doing raid as much. And, um, yeah, well, I just, I guess I'm, what I'm trying to say is like, I, I, I thank you guys. I thank you guys. These are my drunk ramblings right now. We're an hour and 12 minutes into the video. This guy looks like he's going to be a fucking asshole and take up his entire time. But you know what, guys? I don't have time for it. And because I don't have time for it, I'm not going to end up taking the entire turn meter. I'm just going to go about my day. I'm going to smack him away. But just remember this right here. If you're... Should I make a short out of this? Somebody remix this. Somebody make a short out of this for me. I know there's a way to do it. Oh, so now he's... You know what happened? Was he threw his... He threw his phone on auto. We're gonna get rid of... Um, who go first? He put his phone on auto. Or not, not on auto, but like he left his phone alone. And so after a certain while, your phone will actually, or your account will just go on auto if you aren't playing. It'll detect it. I think after like two, maybe three turns of, of not making a move, the phone will automate, or the uh, your account will automatically go into. Yeah, so here we are. We're at 29 out of 40 battles, 40 wins here. Now it's starting to cost 100 gems. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to... Um, complete this and i honestly don't think it's worth it 